and you're just a month into the game? Yeah, I went out. Um, I mean, I've been hitting balls for really a while, but I went out with this team about a month ago with some friends and liked it, so. What did you like about it? Um, Yeah. I like getting balls of stick. So. Cool. I dig. That's cool. It just seemed like something that I could uh, do for a long time. For sure. I like that everybody likes it for a different reason. I, I, ask, yeah. I always ask people that and enjoy the answers I get. It is cool to hang. I mean, also like, like being able to beat my friends at things once in a while. I like it. So far, has it been pretty intuitive? Uh, yeah, so I have like days where I am hitting really, really well, and then other days where it's horrible. But yeah, it's pretty much intuitive. I've looked at like a few videos on YouTube and stuff that have been pretty crazy. Okay. I still really don't know what I'm doing overall, but, but I can kind of feel when it's right. Okay. Have you started to notice a trend in any particular direction with the golf shots? Uh, a lot of that. A lot of heavy. Um, iron. And then uh, I'm pretty inconsistent with my driver. Like I'll have, I'll have like a stretch where I'm hitting it really straight and getting quite a bit of distance out of it. But then, um, then I'll get to where I'm like hitting before the ball or or hitting the bottom of the club. I think. Okay. Do you play other sports? Um, I did baseball, football, pretty much everything except for basketball growing up. Yeah, I mean, you're in pretty good shape for just being a month into it. Your swing is uh, not that far off. I have trouble not swinging hard, so I just swing gently sometimes. Yeah. And then I'll find sometimes when I back off that like, I hit it a little bit easier. So. Um, so got to, so like playing scales, I'm going to equate this to music Wonderful. to connect with the student. I appreciate that. No. Uh, so playing scales is like having a good grip. So you have, to, it's like a non-negotiable. What have you learned about the grip so far? About the grip, this is what I know. And I don't know if that's right or not. And is that just something you came up with or have you seen videos like you're talking about? Um, I think I was probably told how to hold a club at some point. Okay. It's just how it feels best, kind of both thumbs down, but I haven't really tried anything else. Just if we can spend a minute just getting real intentional with it, it'll help. It'll okay. pay dividends long term. So um, you want to kind of imagine it running through this channel here where this fatty pad is riding on top of, see how that fatty pad is on top of the imaginary grip there? Oh, then, okay. So you see this other pad here this fatty pad and this fatty pad it's kind of resting like that so see if you can start there that right here and right here okay on top of them or yeah so that's going to be mounted it's almost kind of like a pistol grip right here okay. so let's 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 do it together on the grip It's almost like this part of the, the hand is on top of the grip, and that's going to give you a lot more control like that. Oh, okay, I see. It's just going to, you're going to kind of be mounted on the grip. And then rotate this whole, keep this thing in the same orientation, but rotate this arm to where you can see two or three knuckles on this hand. Okay. That's going to be something that's, left hand for sure is kind of non-negotiable. And then the right hand, um, there's a saying here, so we've got the, the hot dog. We're going to hide the hot dog. You don't, you don't want to see any of that thumb when you look down on your hand. And then we can kind of see that this is a V created 
pointing to our right shoulder, and we kind of want to have the same program in our right hand too. And Another V. Kind of pointing here. Yep. So double check your rotation. If if it's too far here, this is weak, mm -hmm. and that's strong. So generally, people have too weak of a grip, and so if you strengthen it up a little bit, it's going to help you. All right, and then hide that. Yeah, that's actually really good. Does that feel intuitive? Uh, I can get used to it. Do I need so there's there's the last little piece of the puzzle so you can go baseball overlap or interlock okay three options most um, players are either overlap or interlock I prefer interlock it just feels more powerful to me that's what Tiger and Jack Nicholas did uh, but this is called the Varden grip here where it's uh, this pinky just sort of lays on top of your uh, left pointer finger. Okay. So you just kind of so play around with what feels make comfortable. Sure that I can see a couple knuckles over here. Yep. Okay. So with the face square, you're rotating that. So I kind of like it about right, about right there. Okay. Oh well, yeah, that's different. This feels it feels pretty. Feels good. Okay. And then that thumb. Fall. Where does that thumb go? The thumb kind of goes into this channel here, and it's going to feel like these hands are working as one unit. Okay. What seems to do you like interlock? It seems like it's headed that way. Okay. I mean, it just feels like little, locked in. It's like a little I'm, chunky if I if I have it uh, over the hand. Yeah, it feels floaty to me to have it overlapping. So interlock, um, and then make sure that this that. This one already feels like so. Whenever I'm hitting before, I notice like if I have this arm like this kind of tensed here uh -huh. that it, I, I seem to hit it a little bit better if I'm hitting it then this seems to like do that naturally okay like I don't like that easier. I just want that arm to hang okay. there you go that's better yeah no tension at all when I'm over a ball I'm, I'm this is all loosey-goosey okay all right here we go here we go can we Get that thumb on the left hemisphere of the grip. So, okay. So instead of over here, we're just going to kind of rest it just barely on that side of the equator here. Okay. Instead of here, here. Is that right? Okay. I'm cool with that. Okay, and then. So for the first few balls with the new grip, it's going to feel very foreign, but the, you're, this is going to pay dividends long term. I just want you to start here. So you're going to kind of imagine that you're at a finished impact position. You want to work on impact. Here's impact. Impact. Did you play racquetball in all your sporting endeavors? So if, if you're going down for like a kill shot, trying to hit it low into the wall, that's sort of the golf swing. So at impact, we're going to be cleared out of the way, which means that you're going to be able to see both of my butt cheeks and your sh the middle of your shoulders at impact with a little bit of forward shaft lean. So we're going to work on impact today. So we're going to start there. Why not just start there and then just do little half swings to get back there. Okay. And we're just going to start getting used to this new grip. So okay. see if you can rotate to where the camera can see the middle of your back okay cool start there and then just figure out how to get there with a small swing cool keep presetting and figuring out how to recreate that position kind of help you feel that a little bit a little bit more like so when we're playing racquetball we kind of go down for it that right shoulder gets a little bit closer to the ground okay there we go i like it so 
So we're trending to a position where our body's out of the way and that shaft is actually leaning a little forward at impact. That's how you're really going to compress the ball. Cool. When I was learning, I did a zillion of these until it kind of became boring that I would hit them crisp and the contact was good without chunking. Those last two were appropriate. Just make sure. So now on this one, try to give it a little bit more transition. So we're going to start here. And then we're going to go back and then through. Give your, give your body a little bit more turn, but try to return to that ideal impact position. Nice. How'd that feel? Felt good. Totally different than, than what I was thinking. Nice. Sweet. Should just clean it up a little bit. Yeah. And then the theory is this becomes a familiar like home, so you always want to go back home, but you got to feel this a few times. Actually not, more than a few, but. Let's try this. Okay. So, let's go. Preset impact, back to normal, preset impact, and then go. One more time for me. So we're going to go. So this is an exaggeration of, of where we want to be at impact. We're just going to feel that and then come back to our neutral setup. Go back one more time and then swing. So preset and then the stock setup, preset, then go. Yep, stock set up, go back, preset, yep, excellent. And it's going to be tougher to hit off that down slope. I'll set you back here from now on. Try a couple more presets, back to neutral, just so you can kind of tell how that body's turning. Nice. Mm-hmm. Good. Go ahead and let that lower body kind of migrate back to normal in transition. So what I'm seeing is you're doing a great job here, but it's kind of like staying there. The point of the drill really more is to feel the body move from here back to there. Do you see my body, my lower body kind of moving and, and clearing? So that's the reason we just go back to normal. So you can feel, yeah, dynamically how everything's clear. And there you go. There, and then just figure out how to get back there. Good job. Okay, sweet. Uh-huh, figure out how to get back there. Okay, so now that we've got that down, let's put this into the mix. I'm gonna have my stick. We're gonna pinch the stick in between our grip and we're going to do this. We're gonna start preset, go back to normal to where this thing is resting on your rib cage. So we're gonna go preset, rib cage, figure out how to swing where this thing goes behind you. So it'll probably be helpful, try to slide this in there and challenge you to recreate that grip. Okay, okay so it might be helpful just to kind of get familiar with the deal. Preset, okay. 
And go real slow, otherwise you're going to smack yourself in the ribs. Cool. It'll be detached at that point. There you go. Okay. Now let's just hit some little 30 yarders. I'll keep feeding you golf balls and just start to feel the chest turn as good as your lower body's been trained to turn so far. It's going to help to do it real slow for now. I feel a turn, turn. Yes. This is that real modern rotary golf swing. Not a lot of moving parts. We're going to use our chest to swing the club, not so much the hands. All right. Nice, it's A1, perfect. All right, let's drop the stick and try to recreate that. Just in a normal swing. Let's see what happens on a normal swing. Like you want to yeah, like full, full through. Oh, okay. So before you swing, give me one little preset where you feel like you're going down and getting after that thing okay. and then come back to stock and go ahead and hit some. Yep. Close. Cool. Try to imagine like your head just stays in a box. I don't want you to think, keep your head down or anything, but just try to keep whatever level that your head starts on is about at that same level. Not a lot of dipping or rising up out. Excellent. How'd that feel? Felt good. Okay. It was just a straight little shot off to the right. Oh, Okay, let's bring this puppy back in a little bit. And we're gonna start with this thing. So let's set up, let's go neutral for now. This thing's resting on your rib cage. You're gonna feel this all work together coming off the ball. And then we're gonna turn back and through and it's like you get to this position where the stick is behind you. Let's just keep drilling that. Getting used to finding the bottom of the arc with our new swing here. It's really not that different from what you've been doing. It's just a cleaner version. Yep, if you don't turn in unison, it's going to, uh, there you go. It's gonna smack you. might uh, benefit from imagining, let me grab that stick from you, on our back swing, if we're standing like this, okay, and I had a stick protruding from my old belt. So when I'm at my cleared out impact position, see how what the orientation of that is versus that. Okay, so it's kind of halfway back. I'm going to try to match this on the ground. Halfway through, 
I'm getting it to there. Okay, so I'll let you stand in this setup here. Slide that baby through your belt. Halfway through, you're getting to wear. Okay, let it a little bit more hang out that way. We'll drop this for now. So in our normal setup where we're kind of tall, this is how you get in your golf posture, by the way. That's something I could have started with as well. Uh -huh. So we could be back in our heels or we could be in the balls of our feet standing nice and tall. We want to be a little bit balls of feet biased. Okay. Nice and tall. Then we're going to feel like somebody punches us just above the navel. So that brings us down to here, here, and then the upper spine comes down as well. Okay, cool. That's sort of your golf posture. They call it grandpa posture. The best golf instructor in the world right now, a guy named George Gankus, he's teaching all of his tour players to get into grandpa posture. So that's, okay. it just allows you to go up so you can go down. Golf was taught like this for a long time where you had a straight back and you would kind of rotate around the straight back, but people pop up and out of that posture. His theory is if you're tall and then get into grandpa, you have room to go tall. So then you have an athletic ability to go down and get it. Okay. All right, so a little brief aside there. We're going to swing to the top and match this with your hips. Okay. Uh huh. And then match this on the way through. Good. That's it. Perfect. Balls of the feet. All of this turns. You turn with me. Big turn to there. Feel how that, if you had eyeballs in the back of your back, they'd be looking at the target. Okay. Big turn. There you go. All right, let's try that on a few shots. Some of that geometry is starting to look a like a little better. Um, the stick's hard to hit with. Let's just uh, put it in here for kind of a little potential reminder. where it's at good really good yes so close it's got to start to feel like at least maybe unlocking a new gear or something mm -hmm. a little bit more efficient mm-hmm Sweet, dude. Please tell me that felt good. It did. Yeah, no, the last two felt good. Like different good? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, yes. Yeah, totally different. It's going to be like penetrating. You're taking divot in front of the ball now. Yes. Dude. Cool. Slide the camera over here while we're cooking with grease and get a little different angle for you. Yes, 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 yes. That's the magic move. Nobody's got that. Everybody's like this at impact. Their their belt is still their their zipper still at the camera and they're kind of flipping this thing like this. It's real weak. We're trying to get to where we're cleared, shafts leaning forward, and we're just pounding that thing. Okay. Getting after it, I like it. Oh yeah, I'm, I... That's like me, I was taught to swing as hard as I could. So really exact, hang on one second. I want to really emphasize, you're doing great with the lower body. You just got to, yes, there you go. Get the middle of the back to the target behind you. There you go, clear. We just got that bandana floating a little bit. Keep, keep your head in the box, but keep giving me that great rotation. Sweet. Yes, sir. Two yard draw. Compressed. I love it. I don't know what any of that means. 
So a draw is like a shot for a righty that starts right and curves to the left. Okay. Most people slice, which is a shot that goes left to right. Really good. Nice. Starting to feel more crisp. Yeah, it feels feels totally different. Feels good. Really good rotation. I love how much your chest is moving. Get you in a better setup here. Oh, watch out for that tent. Okay, cool. Yeah, you got a coil. You got a coil behind it is the feel I always get. Out of the divot, now he's showing off. It's hard for most people to get it out of the divot because they're flipping at it. But if you're holding that angle, what you're doing now is you're, so this wrist is gonna move and you're holding that bad boy. As, as opposed to most people are here and they've already lost it all. So the only way you can hold it without slamming into the ground is to be totally cleared out racquetball style like you're doing where you're boom, down in there. It's just cool. Unnecessary to tell you that, but it's just cool to see you hitting it out of the mud. Nice. Cool, let's take a look at some longer clubs. Same principles will apply. It just gets harder when the clubs get longer. So, you know, it's a totally different swing now as far as the way it feels um, and everything, but it was always hitting my well, four and five are the longest clubs I had right now. Okay. But those were the ones I was hitting the best before. Well, let's attack these guys. Those. Are these in the penalty box? Sometimes they're great. Okay, let's see what's going on. This one. Um, okay, so same stuff. Let me get you a little station set up in here. Make sure you're not going to hit the tent. Just try to reach back as far as you can and see if you can hit this. No, all right, we're good. So yeah, same stuff really. We're going to try to imagine that we're getting our hips clearing, our shoulders turning, and the ball position is really affected just by the width of the stance. Your ball position on everything is going to be a little forward of center, but for a three wood, you're gonna be wider than you were with whatever that was, the seven iron. So that looks good ball position wise. Let's just see what happens if we feel those nice clears. Cool. If it helps, yeah, I mean, it's the same principle for sure. You want to be cleared. Nice. Is that better than usual? Um, I don't know if I've ever hit three of these in a row. Okay.
see if on this one, I'm risking giving you too much, but I think you're okay. capable of it. So see when you're back home practicing this, if you can feel like you get to that proper geometry on the ground without this being so much a part of it. So you're, you're kind of going here and doing that. See if like you can stay in your existing foundation and just turn, turn without swaying backwards. Let's just see. Yeah, so just moving these joints this way, there's a little bit of that that's just making you a little inconsistent. What if we just, from the get-go, we go boom, boom, and we never get outside our feet, if that makes any sense. Yeah, better. The reason I was a little worried to say anything is I, w I want you to keep your same greasy athleticism, but see if we can do it within your feet. Nice. That was a rip. If you can keep the machine turning without sliding, sure. it's going to be more predictable. Keep the bandana on the same level, swing inside the feet. That bandana cue made you too <laughs> still up here. It's it's more of a mat. If you pivot and turn properly, the bandana will not go up or down. So you don't have to actively think about that. Just think big turn, turn within your feet. Yo. I love that. Do you have a driver? Uh, yep. I do. Tees? I have them somewhere in here. Um, so everything we've been doing so far, we've, we can imagine we're creating a machine that's hitting down slightly on the ball. If we got the grandfather clock pendulum, catching it on the downswing. Driver, you want to catch barely after the bottom of the arc, so you're actually hitting up on it. Um, and the way we achieve that in part is by having the ball position much more off of our left toe. So nice and wide setup is otherwise similar it's just a little wider ball position off of the left toe and uh, big turn within your feet Let's see. keep my eye on the tee these Where's tees are very hard to find again yeah whoever invented green tees demerits demerits all around Oh, here we go. I just hate that you're on a down slope there, but I don't want to have you hitting the thing. How about right there? Okay, so let's go ball position forward. We're turning our hips to there and then to there. Just double check you're not going to hit anything for your own. There we go. Nice. One last subtle adjustment you can make in the setup so you're nice and neutral here to help hit up on it. Just give me a little bit of tilt back like this, just with driver. All within your feet. Little tilt. There you go.
turn, turn. Make sure on your, there you go, yep. Make sure you're always finishing with all of your weight on the left side facing the target. Let's see a practice swing or two where we finish with the balance on our left side. Okay, and achieve that without letting this, this head come back here along with it. We're just gonna turn, there we go, sweet. Love it. Nice. Good job. People still find your music online? Uh, yeah. I think so. I think it's all on YouTube. On YouTube or on what? Spotify. Oh, sp oh cool. Uh, iTunes and all that stuff. Sweet. up a little bit so we're going to turn back and this shoulder there we go just feel that okay. and then just lay the hammer on it Ooh, close Uh, when we start sky, that's called skying it. Um, it's just because we're here, and then we have a little bit of a lateral shift where our heads get in front of the ball. See if we can make some swings where we feel like the head kind of stays in that same space. Yep. There you go. If it sneaks in front of the ball, then all of a sudden the arc gets really steep coming down into the ball. You come up and that you kind of thrust that club down underneath the ball, then it shoots straight up. If you can just figure out a way to swing and stay behind the ball instead of going a little bit like that, you're gonna avoid the sky shot. Let's see if you can stay behind. Go ahead and get in your posture. A little tilt. There you go, and just stay back there as you turn, turn. Closer. Mm-hmm. A little drop kick is what they call that. Nice. How's your short game? Uh, that feels like a different game entirely. Putting? Yeah. Feels like a different sport. For sure. Yeah, it's uh, all. Not bad, though. I can usually get it close. How about bunkers? Uh, don't don't get too close to too many of those. Okay, I like it. I like it. 
Um, I, the reason I ask is like that's that's about as much as I comfortably feel comfortable giving you technical wise. Um, that's way better than I thought we would be able to do as a one month golfer. Um, we could certainly keep doing it. We've got some time left if you want. Right, Noah, we could work on some jibbing or pitching. I, don't, I have a really weird wedge style. Okay, what do you mean? Um, well, I feel like it's weird. There's a 68 and a 50 and a 56, and then there's a pitching wedge. It's like 42 or 43. Okay. There's a lot of space in there. I'm really I'm great with this. Okay, well, let's go see what you got over there. That's going to be the best.